everyone on the Cook Gaming here, and welcome back to Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're actually into the waterfall. Explicit homophobia. Xavier, that's naughty. Wow. <laughs> I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Interesting. Oh, not this one. Yet there's something behind the other one. Oh, up here. Wait. Mm hmm Baba buoy. <laughs> Whoa. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure. Get the old tutu. The old tutu for you, you. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> You hey, to too. that's me. Yeah. Oh. What happens I if I just... It. Okay. I've never actually let it push me off before, so I wanted to see. Really? Yeah. Well. This is how you can tell Toby is... Toby is a mid-programmer. <laughs> what do you mean? The way that these fall. I guess. Oh. <gasps> Papyrus. Oh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Oh, how are we going to make her sound? Uh, regarding that human I called you about, uh, the, uh, hey. fight them. Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did, did I capture them? Well, uh, no. Um, um, I uh, I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What, what? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but on dying, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see, uh, uh. Your mom is gay. <laughs> I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. What the heck is this thing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's the dog doing? <laughs> I think I heard the grayish moving. This, why is Undyne so paranoid? Like, she has no reason to believe it's a human in that grass at all. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, spooky. Anyway, man, I, I oh, I can't huh? say that. I never Not knew there. you could walk that way, and the same thing would happen. I never did that. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you, man? That that was awesome. Huh? I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> I love watching authorities beat up defenseless people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so cool! You're gonna encounter Aaron the moment you cross the bridge. You will encounter a buff horse. <laughs> I will. Yes, there's a specific part. You think like, Monster just, Kid just, likes police brutality? I feel like he does. I don't know. It's right here. Did it? Do it? Told you. Aaron flexes in. He just keeps flexing. Aaron. Come on, Ryan, flex those flabs. I'm gonna flab my flab is. <laughs> Flabby flex the contest. Okay, flex more. Oh. Bro. Can I do I have to say it in a seductive voice? <laughs> you suck. Right. Oh, dude. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice. I won't lose them. Ha oh, ha. Bro. Bum 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 ba dum. You flex. Aaron flexes Aaron very flexes hard. He flexes himself hard. out the room. Whoa. How did you know it was gonna say that, dude? I've never played this game before. 
Whoa. That's like Oh, Ryan. Major. You know the quiche that the yeah, virus was talking about? I know. Mm hmm You know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> I know Shumtings. You know? God. Okay, for our genocide run, I want you to play bits and pieces. The bits and pieces mod. Well, I thought bits and pieces wasn't finished. Very, very close. <laughs> So. Also, I just want to do a classic playthrough. We can do an entire bits and pieces playthrough someday in the future. All right. Because they just added a whole thing yeah, in Hotman with Susie. They added a whole thing with Susie Delta Room. <laughs> really, Susie's in it? Yeah, there's like a whole side story part of it now. Just <laughs> and I'm like, what? And that's cool. Mhm. Mm like, okay, the waterfall. This track is. This track is so nice. It really is. But I feel like it could be better. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello, this is Papyrus. I have definitely not just sold you out to uh, to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> you were definitely not about to get taken to Detroit and then shipped off to Brazil. <laughs> How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number. Sequentially, and then I got you. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? <laughs> no, no reason. I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Yeah. No. So, you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. You're gonna Got make the pirates lie. You're my friends. Why did I make him Italian there for a second? <laughs> You're my friend. Anyway, uh. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Whatever. You're gonna make the pirates fly, bro. Why do I care? He doesn't deserve that. Bro, there's someone out there hunting me. Did you see a that, long bro? Time. They. they they was tweaking you know, at the sight what you of could grass have done is You could have told him, yeah, you're wearing the tutu, and Undyne's then change your outfit. Undyne's an introvert, bruh. Wrong. She must be, because she freaks out at the sight of grass. Huh? Bro, she was about to body that grass, because <laughs> she saw it moving. She saw the wind rustle it, and she was like, oh my god. I'm gonna... <laughs> gonna Wreck this, bruh. <laughs> Call me a lawn mower. Anyway. A long time ago. Morgan Freeman narration. A long time ago. Monsters will whisper their wishes to the stars and sky. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I need to hear what Morgan Freeman sounds like really quick. I need I need to see if I can mim Morgan mimic it. Freeman. Morgan Freeman noises. Morgan Freeman noises? <laughs> No, that's your man. If you were listening to this, is this Morgan Freeman? I, I don't think it is. And everyone else. Maybe it is. Of God. My humanity has survived. No, I need Morgan Freeman. My home is here in Mississippi. I've lived in many other places. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. I don't know. <laughs> if you hoped with all your heart, your wishes would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be strong. Wait, the king will prove that. Huh? Oh! Save your help. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is, <coughs> this is a mandatory encounter. Okay. You just act, and you say clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. I love that name. And you want to touch the green. Green means clean. Oh. Hold, you can hold oh. B or X. What? What's the fucking slowdown key? Oh. Because you know you can slow your slowdown, right? I don't care, bro. I never use it. It's 
That's very. It's a Look very the good telescope. movement. It's a very good skill, Ryan. Check wall. They're not that wall. Mom, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Cool. Is there another wall to check? No. But there's oh. another sound. Ah. Seems as my horoscope was the same as last week's. I don't really even know what a horoscope is. What is this? What is the point of this, Xavier? Oh. I forget. Okay. I don't think it does anything. Oh, this is the lore. Bit. Oh wait, okay, let's get the lore. This is all the lore. <laughs> Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Narrated by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> How funny would that be? Narrated why did by the Samuel humans... L. Jackson. Oh, why did the humans attack? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it, would, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster <laughs> just to equal the power of a single human soul. <laughs> but humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of the soul. <laughs> its power allows it to persist outside the human body. Even after death. What? Okay. If a monster defeats a human, <laughs> they can take its mother and soul. <laughs> a monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's a motherfucking soul. <laughs> it's a strange, sort of strange creature. And this little motherfucker, he's tweaking. <laughs> I want to read all the signs like that. <laughs> Narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. Cole, you dropped something. You want your spear back? <laughs> oh. The intense screaming. Run! It's mother. Okay, so. <laughs> You're bad. No. Oh, yeah. Nailed it, bruh. Run, rabbit, I love run, the rabbit, like run, 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 run. Right. Bang, bang, bang. Goes the farmer's gun. Run rabbit, run rabbit, run, run, run. On Dime beats children, she beats children. She's given this kid a big black eye. She's the good guy. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, God. That took a while. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't Yo, know did you see that? Undyne just touched me, dude. Oh, wait a second. That's think, actually the dialogue. I think your interests are shining through at too young of an age. Mm -hmm. How old is Monster Kid? He's a teenager. Oh, well, I guess then. I mean, Undyne is pretty. I do, like, I do like me some fish sticks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never washing my face ever again, man. Are you unlucky? <laughs> you were standing a little bit to the left, little dude. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again, bruh. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> All these invisible She didn't even rocks. touch him. She, she didn't even touch him. It was fucking metal. She, no, she like grabbed him, bro. Like, like and with choked the metal him. armor. This, this cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has gone around it and stuck to the table. Squeak. Huh. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks.
You don't really know why, but you wanna justify Ripping someone's head off, no human contact And if you interact, your life is on contract Your best bet is to stay away, motherfucker